In order to find the truth, you have to travel. And that's exactly what I did. We met up with our Tibetan driver and guide. It was too dangerous for us to fly straight into Lhasa, the capital of Tibet, because of the altitude sickness. So, for the next five days, we'll be travelling by land cruiser. We entered the kingdom of the clouds as we climbed higher and higher. It was incredible, but also very cold and wet. Yeah. Yeah, there's something wrong with the wiring, so our driver's gone back into Zhangmu. Zhang and it's the first day in Tibet. <laughs> it's literally the first day in Tibet, yeah. And yeah. We're bogged down, and we're supposed to be going to Lhasa, which would take 10 hours. Yeah. Probably a bit longer now. <laughs> <laughs> if we make it. <laughs> yes. It's got very cold here all of a sudden. Yes, the clouds have come in, as you can see. Me and Mark were still in high spirits, as we saw this as part of our adventure. That was until the car broke down again, just past the town of Nylan. It wasn't funny anymore. Last night, or yesterday, we were supposed to be here, at Nylan. And today we were supposed to be um, moving on towards Lhasa. But <laughs> because we've had car problems, we had to stay in Zangri last night and we were supposed to be moving straight on to Lhasa today. Well, the car broke down three times and we only just got to Nyla. So, and as you can see... Fucking freezing! <laughs> yeah, and I'm full of cold, which doesn't help. <laughs> I'm worried about tomorrow because they say they're going to fix the car and we've had so much problems with it already and I'm worried that they won't have the part and that it will break down. This morning, I was dying. <laughs> she had a cry. Yes. As we started our journey towards Lhasa, I felt awful because of the altitude sickness. I began to forget what had brought me here in the first place and what I wanted to learn. Yeah, it's hard. Right, um, I've decided to come into the bathroom because um, Paul is really, really ill and it's really beginning to worry me. Um, she started off with a really bad cold in Zangbo. I think it's just the cold. I keep checking on her and she looks okay. I just think that maybe she needs sleep. So hopefully Paula, you'll be able to watch this in a bit because it's really, really scary. So anyway, enough of that. Yeah, Paula will be okay. Alright. Night. Yesterday we travelled all the way from Nylon to Shigatsu, which took us over 10 hours by Land Cruiser. I got it kind of bad yesterday with the altitude sickness and I became really ill. I had to get the oxygen out because I couldn't breathe last night. I, I, I kept cold. I couldn't 
It couldn't get warm. I just want to get rid of this stupid cold. A few days later, the worst was over. We continued towards the capital.